Hello and hey, mess around with golf with your friends, this time a perfect score on the brand new course, Peaceful Pines. Don't really do these score runs anymore, but I thought you can't pass up an opportunity to get an 18 on a classic course, it just hasn't happened before, and I've played this game way too long to not try to get the uh, quote-unquote achievements that the community kind of set forth. Because we always wanted to do it on Forest, never was technically possible, so this is where we're at. These shots will be the exact same as my guide, with the exception of like, I think four or five holes. I did, I have cleaned up some of them a little bit to be a bit easier, or maybe just have a, a reference point that's easier, but you, the timing is a little bit different, that sort of thing. So if you're looking for some alternate shots, I guess you can keep watching. Otherwise, this is a fairly easy course, at least comparatively. So we'll go with that. I wish I could say that this, this score could never be beaten because it's an 18, but we have seen a hole in zero. I'll put a link in the cards for that if you're unawares. Um, that was a weird experience, but it could happen on any technical hole. I, anything that has moving parts, so it's completely unlikely that we'll have, have a hole in zero on any other course. It just, that was a sort of a freak thing, but it could happen, I guess. You never want to, never say never with this game. That's definitely one thing I've learned over these years. Sorry, I had something in my eye there. Uh, <laughs> not really sure why it took me like 20 seconds to get it out, but that's what's going on there. It's also one of the, the trickier holes to like just consistently get, because if you don't have the spot for it in your head, it's it kind of hard to get there. Yeah, I don't have too much to add, because like I said, I, these are mostly just the guide holes. There's some that are a little different, but I guess I can talk those through. But other than that, I guess I'll just sit here and kind of watch it with you. It's just going to be a pretty simple run. Didn't take that long to get it. have started taking a little bit more power off this. That way we don't have to actually hit the hole. And this just kind of barely sticks in the in the bowl there, but it works. It's definitely better than the, the treasure chest. These poor objects, they don't quite work as intended all the time. Hole nine, there's definitely gotta be something that is a, that's more efficient than this. I just, I didn't take the time to look for it. But I mean, this that's just, it feels silly when the hole is just this close to the starting point. So I should look around for something like that, even though I have no, no reason to. It's just, that's how I like to do. I don't know if there's ever going to be like an easy one that is just like, foolproof on hole 10. There's always going to be an element of timing, so we'll get it with that. This hole 11 shot I'm pretty happy with. This just goes right in the hole. Yeah. Didn't change anything, just finally hit the exact pixel I wanted to, so that's always good. I think I finally got everything out of my eye now. There we good. Two thirds of the way through the course, we're doing fine. Hole 13, this was the hole I guess I was maybe most worried about just because it it does feel pretty tight on the timing. Or not timing, the, uh, the placement, so. There's obviously a couple pixels or so that work there. I've gotten hole in ones all around that thing, but they're just so specific each time that this is like the biggest range. That's why I always use that. And then for this one, it's a brand new shot. This was actually what I got the first hole in one I got this hole on before. Uh, I do feel it's a little, tiny bit more consistent just because you can kind of get into the bowl. You can get around there. The point of aim is wider and the point of power is wider. Which, again, is something I very much value. Hole 15 is a shot that was told to me. It's like I, I tried to hit the pillar and I missed. So that was kind of funny. Um... 
I, I took that with and ran with it because it is the most consistent. It requires no timing, and so thank you very much for finding that shot for me. In hole 16, another brand new shot. If we go full power at the bottom of this rock, there's like a little crack there. It's a couple pixels wide. If you hit either side of that crack, it will go in. So this is way easier. This went from one of the harder holes to a very simple one. So we love that for us. Full power shot with like very consistent results. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Hole number 17, uh, just three and a half, let her rip. I mean, it's, it's very simple. I still don't understand what the heck the, the door opening and shut is supposed to do, especially when this is such an easy hole in one to get. I don't know if this was planned to be different at the beginning or what's going on, but it's totally fine. And then hole 18, uh, th there was no nerves here because it's just such a simple shot. You get a couple pixels to work with on the dark side of this nut, and then other sentences we get to say. It's beautiful. But that's it. That's the 18. That's the hole in one. It's this course. I wish it was the tiniest bit more interesting for some of these holes. Take a screenshot of that. Some of them are like maybe a touch too straightforward if I had to be nitpicky. But like I said, this is the best Team 17 course. It, it's an 18 on a classic mode. So I, I had to do it. Had to do it for everybody. If the price was right, this would be a very popular course. I think they would have sold a lot of them. But instead, we have this little bit of controversy. The Discord's going nuts. I can't, I can't blame them. I, I've, I've stated my reasons for why I own it. You can't justify it if you're just like regular player of this game, not these content creators and stuff like that. So it's interesting. I just wanted to have it out there. Like I said, it's always possible that now we have hole and zeros as possibilities that it could go crazier. But I think this is going to be locked in as the best score you could ever get. That's the most likely outcome. It's an 18 after all. I ramble. What can I say? I ramble nowadays. I don't know why, but I'll hope to catch you in the next one. Let's get me out of here. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Be safe, guys.